So today I'm working on this complex damage on the front of this Audi TT. And being an aluminium panel, it's definitely going to make life difficult for me. But as always, stay tuned and I'll show you the complete repair from start to finish. Hi everyone, it's Jake here from First Track Dents and welcome along for another paintless dent repair video. So today it's the turn of this Audi TT and yet another aluminium front wing. So I think we can confidently say that this was caused by some sort of low speed collision. Now there is some damage to the paint here but the customer isn't too worried about this because the car's always parked in a busy London street and he's always getting a knock here and there. But this time it had just gone too far. And believe it or not, when I first viewed this car and booked it in, it sustained another knock on the opposite front wing. Now trying to repair this sort of damage on a busy main road would be near impossible, but luckily a friendly neighbour allowed us to use his driveway, which was perfect as it was chucking it down with rain. Seems like every job I do lately is in the pouring rain. Right, anyway, let's jump in to this repair. So let's take a good look at all the damage we need to repair on this front wing. First we have the main impact point here which I'll call area 1. Here we can see that the damage has pushed in the body line and a large chunk of the metal beside it. We also have some scuff marks here which I'll polish off at the end. Moving down the panel we have this damage here at area number 2 which runs parallel to the first dent above it which has also pushed in the body line slightly. Further down here at area number 3 we have a high spot which is where the wing has pushed onto some internal protrusion behind this panel which I'm sure will become apparent when we remove the wing liner. The customer has said he's happy to touch this crack paint in afterwards. Now moving up here to area number four, this dent obviously follows on from the first dent at area one and is a soft horizontal crease that goes right up to the edge of where the wing meets the plastic bumper. And lastly, as I mentioned before, this wing is made from an aluminium alloy. Now because it's a wet, miserable day, the first thing I need to do is put up my large umbrella and fix it onto my homemade stand so I can keep myself and the panel as dry as possible. Next I need to place the jack underneath onto one of the jacking points and raise the car up off the ground just a few inches. Doing this will allow me access onto the screws holding the wing liner in place. Next using the correct Torx bit on my tool, I can start removing some of the screws holding the wing liner in place. I'm not removing all the screws, just the ones at the front here. As the wing liner is made from a soft flexible material, I only need to unclip it from the wheel arch edge so that it can be pushed aside easily. Looking behind, we have quite a nice open area in which to work and looking down here, we can see the internal protrusion which caused the high spot we mentioned earlier in my analysis. Now because of this drain pipe here, I'll need to push it aside to prevent any damage to it when pushing behind. Lastly, I lower the vehicle so the gap is sufficient enough so I can get some good leverage from the tyre if needed. Okay, so some of you may have seen me use this support prop before. It's not a PDR tool, but it's great if you need to give a lot of force into a front wheel arch and don't want to blow out the edge of the wing or split the edge underneath, which is more likely to happen when working on an aluminium panel. Now with my light bulb positioned correctly and the support prop in place, it's time to start pushing out the main part of this damage. So I'm going to start off with the biggest part of this damage first. So I'm using plenty of heat here to soften the paint then I'm going to go straight in with my large rubber tip on my screw on tip bar. I'm concentrating on the body line here and the low section right next to it. As you can see, some of this damage popped out in a couple of hard pushes, although it doesn't just all pop out completely. It's quite a complex dent to do, so it needs a lot of time spent on it. So as I've mentioned on other aluminium repair videos, this metal isn't easy to push out and requires a lot more force to get the metal to move where you want it to go. So I had to spend quite a bit of time carefully pushing this wing roughly back into shape. Then using my small aluminium hammer with a large rubber tip, I hammered back down the crowns around this main dent. This helps to relieve a lot of tension surrounding the damage in order to help the metal flow back into shape. 
So now the main damage has been pushed out, I'm going to rough out the complete panel and I'm going to start with this area just below the main impact point. So I reposition my light into a position to get the best view of this damage and then secondly I warm up the panel to soften the paint to prevent it from cracking. So as this damage here is quite shallow and soft I'm starting off with my screw on tip bar and a standard rubber tip. So using some strong pushes and some good leverage off the tyre I carefully push this dent out to get it back to its rough shape again. So there are a couple of areas I'm concentrating on here, the low section of the curve profile and the edge profile of the wheel arch. Using my knockdown with the nylon tip, I tap down any high areas that have come up through the pushing process. So from some basic initial pushes, the shape has started to come back quite nicely. Next it's time to flatten some of the crowns surrounding this area of damage. Okay, so now time to move up to the top area of damage again and really concentrate on getting this wheel arch profile back into shape again. So again, plenty of heat is required. Then moving the pipe aside underneath, I use the same standard rubber tip to start pushing out the profile line. I'm then using various knockdowns as shown here to address the high areas around the profile line. And as you can see here, the high areas are moving back into alignment with the surrounding metal again. Then it's back down to finish roughing out the body line again at the lower den. And as you can see, the edge profile of this wing is starting to move back into place. I'm using my nylon tap down here to assist in removing any high areas caused by the pushing out of the body line. I then continue on pushing out the small low areas left in this profile line. Ok so I've changed position now to help with the removal of any high areas up and down the flat wheel arch section. Again I'm using a range of different knockdowns to achieve this. Now it's time to move into the curve profile section to start removing the soft horizontal crease. First I'm going to deal with this high crown just here highlighted in yellow. To remove this, I'm using my aluminium knockdown with a standard rubber tip. Now this high crown has been removed, I can lift up the low area just beside it. For this, I'm just using a standard nylon tip on my screw on tip bar. So using this tip, I move around the area underneath, lifting it up in a controlled way in order to bring it out cleanly without putting any sharp pushes into it. Some areas will come up slightly high, but using my nylon tap down, I just tap these areas back down again. And there we go. For now, I'm happy with the initial roughing out of the wheel arch profile, I'll come back later and fine tune this. So now all the heavy pushing near the edge is done, I can now remove the support prop and concentrate on all the remaining areas of the damage left on the panel. So the next part of damage I'm going to remove is this high spot here which has cracked the paint. Now because the paint is broken, I'm going to take extra care here so that I don't chip the paint when tapping this down. So I did this in a series of pushes, stopping every few taps to check the condition of the paint. OK, so I'm happy with this high spot removal. So time to move on to the other soft horizontal crease. Now this soft crease goes right up to the edge where the panel meets the bumper. So being that this damage is further in the panel and because we're dealing with aluminium, I'm using my large screw on tip bar so I can get some good leverage. Now a good tip here when heating a panel next to a plastic bumper is to direct the heat away from the plastic the heat will be drawn into the edge anyway and this will prevent burning or distorting the edge of the plastic where it meets the wing. So I'm starting off using my standard nylon tip and I'm starting at the point of where the wing meets the bumper. Using this nylon tip and a lot of leverage I'm pushing this horizontal crease out slowly and I'm working my way back towards the wheel arch. 
There's quite a lot of metal to push up here, so I'm taking my time and trying to push the metal out cleanly. Using my nylon tap down, I remove any high areas. I then continue on bringing up this horizontal crease. As always, I pushed out the damage from different angles, which meant getting into some very strange positions. So now I'm at the fine tuning stage. So I'm starting off first on the flat arch profile and I'm using my standard screw on metal tip here as this is one of the best tips to start pushing out all these micro lows. Here I'm going over the whole repair again, bringing up all the micro lows left over from the roughing out stage. I've sharpened up my nylon tip so that I can tap down all the sharp little high spots. Now moving into the wheel arch section again, we can see the horizontal crease earlier was reduced to a fine line horizontal crease. So to remove this, I'm using my standard metal tip. I can use this to slowly work along the fine crease to push the center up and bring it in line with the surrounding metal. Now this can't be done in one single pass. It requires a few passes with the tool and some tapping down with my nylon tap down until I'm happy it's all level. So at this stage, I removed all the scuffs and scratches that are on the edge of the wheel arch section. And I gave the complete panel a nice polish using some fine polishing compound. So here I had to jack the car up slightly again. Then when the stone guard pushed back into position, I replaced all the little torque screws that I removed earlier. Only then I can lower the car back down again to check out the final result. Well, I hope you enjoyed my approach when repairing a panel like this. It was certainly challenging, not only because it was an aluminium panel, but because I was working in this freezing cold rain. And also the light was starting to fade away very, very quickly. By the time I got around to repairing the dent on the opposite side, I was almost working in complete darkness. As always, if you enjoyed watching this repair, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell to be kept in touch with all the latest videos. That's all for now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.